Hey, it's me. I just woke up from a nap, and I heard my phone. They had a guy on there who was talking about all these stimulus packages. But then I heard something that caught my ear. And it happened something, something to do with Nancy Pelosi. I just woke up. Um, what gives Nancy Pelosi the idea that a deal will not be done without her? Where does she get that? Does that mean that everybody else can't do what they need to do without her? What about if she wound up in the hospital, God forbid, and then all this stuff is opened up? I'm sure they might have a hand-me-down, uh, you know, a speaker of the house. But what gives you the, the idea that if something don't get done before the election... And, it, and if it's not feasible to her, she's going to continue it on to February because by February she'll they'll they'll know who's the president's going to be. What gives her the right to even say that? And these people's lives are on the line. You know what gives her that right? Did any does anybody think about that? Did we put her in office so she could be stingy and do it when she wants to? And then on top of that, she says she's never talked to the president for almost a year? Oh, my God. If that's, if that's even true, uh, something's wrong with that woman. Oh, well, that's not a woman. That's an animal. So, something's wrong with that. Can't something be done with that? That's unbelievable. So one person can hold it up. And if it, and it happens to be standalone bills and all this other stuff, which Mitch McConnell wants to do now, because, I mean, he wants to do bills, separate, separate bills for each thing. And she doesn't want to do separate bills. She wants to do it all at once. And it's over $108 trillion. They don't, but the, the the big guys, McConnell and all them, they don't want to go over 108 trillion. But God, what gives her the right to hold up the whole country like that? And she is. And you know, uh, my buddy Wolf Blitzer, I call him my buddy because you know he's. Uh, they're not talking on ragging on Trump anymore. They're talking on now. <laughs> Ragging on Trump ain't helping anything. They're uh, talking about helping the people that need the help now. And they're calling Nancy Pelosi out. You know, I think uh, the Trumpster, people say I, I like the Trumpster or I'm going to vote for him because I say Trumpster. I just gave him a nickname. But you know what? He better do some, uh, some of those, uh, whatever he called, standing in the gap bills. I forgot what they call that now. You know, he better he better start doing that now. Yeah, and and um, executive orders. He better start doing that. Man, even if he did one or two executive orders, I don't even see why he's worried about the election. I wouldn't be worried about it, and I'm sitting at this end. Yeah. But what gives her that right to even say that? Think about that one. We put that witch in 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 office for her to do that. What's his name? The that used to be the the speaker of the house, the old gray hair guy. I see his face. I'm trying to think of his name real quick. Oh my God! Bring. I haven't heard two words out of him lately. Yeah, we need somebody back like that. You know, this lady's taking everything personal now. She's trying to shoe in her bet to make sure that he doesn't get reelected. And if he happens to get reelected, she's got a she's got an insurance policy. Who in the heck does that sound like? Ah, hate to even say it. Hillary Clinton and the gang. Yeah, that's who it sounds like. Anyway, I had to say that. Bye.